Hi and welcome to NBC. Today's uh, topic is about the types of neurological conditions and physiotherapy used. Well, neurological conditions may be very severe. They can be life-threatening at times and they can certainly affect the quality of the patient's life. There are many neurological conditions and physiotherapy can help many of them. Alzheimer's disease takes away declining years of many older people. It is surprising to note that it can occur in people 40 years old or younger. ALS or Lou Gehrig's disease is a disease that robs the brain and spinal cord of the ability to move. Both of these are neurological diseases that can be helped by physiotherapy. MS or multiple sclerosis, another of the neurological conditions that affect the brain and spinal cord can lead to a long slow decline. Parkinson's disease is another of the conditions of the brain. This one can cause shaking and loss of coordination and problems moving and walking. Physiotherapy offers some relief to these patients Gullian Bar syndrome is one of the types of neurological conditions that affect the brain and spinal cord too. It is a case of the person's own immune system attacking outside these areas. It can be severe enough to require emergency hospitalization. Physiotherapy offers help with regaining strength and adapting to life with the disease. Neurological conditions that are autoimmune diseases are difficult to treat. Myathena gravis is one such illness. It causes muscular weakness because of lack of communication between the nerves and muscles. Like other conditions, it can be very debili debilitating. That's a word that actually tied my tongue. Anyway, a great amount of physiotherapy is needed to help Gravis patients to live with their conditions. This includes strength training, training the use of supportive devices and help with common tasks. One problem physiotherapists face when working with MG patients is that too much exercise will make their condition worse and not better. Many of the patients with neurological conditions cannot carry on daily functions such as caring for themselves and their homes. It is not uncommon for these people to be unable to work. They, they may even have trouble walking or getting up and downstairs. Difficulty swallowing or breathing, dizziness, poor balance and falls, and a total lack of endurance plague many of these patients who have neurological conditions. Well, medications or surgeries can help with some of their problems, but many problems are ones they will have to abide. Well, physiotherapy can offer solutions that other branches of medicines cannot. Exercises, as in most physiotherapy, include strengthening and stretching exercises in whatever way is possible. Well, patients with neurological conditions need to get aerobic exercise. Physiotherapists may be able to make a plan so that this is possible. Well, part of this plan for patients with neurological conditions will include balance training and coordination training. With these two skills in place, the patient will have a more advanced ability to do aerobic and other exercises, aquatic exercises also used. Well, patients with neurological conditions must have many problems of lack of movement and function. Physiotherapy can help them to overcome some of these problems. It can make their lives easier and more pleasant. Besides, hey, anyway, thanks for watching our video. Please note the videos are quite a, as a guide only, and should not replace any medical advice. If you are unsure about your health, always consult a legally authorized practitioner. Thanks. Thank you for watching one of our videos. If you like the video please hit the like button.
If you would like to see more videos, hit the subscribe button. And if you have something to say, please leave a comment. Thank you once again. From your NBC team. Hashtag NBC Media.